What's up beautiful people, I'm Ashpil here providing you guys with some more FIFA 15 content and now we do move on into the 7th episode of our QPR career mode um, but guys I want you guys to let me know um, I'm not sure like whether I should continue my ultimate team nearly to the end of FIFA 15 until you know FIFA 16 comes out um, or you want me to finish it fast enough because I've got so much of my career mode recorded and you see when I'm done recording my ultimate team I'm not sure what I'll do then so whereas with the career mode um, if I get done maybe earlier or whatever I could actually maybe start the second one with a team that maybe you guys want me to play with um, but anyway guys I'm going to move on with this match and talk more about that later on uh, but anyway this match was all about being clinical now unfortunately Arsenal in this match were really clinical and defensively wise, we, we we were poor, we were poor, I'm not going to lie. And Arsenal pretty much, any most of their chances were decent. And the most decent decent ones they had, they took. And we were 3-1 down at the first half, going into the second half. But as you can see, the stats weren't half bad. It's just, as I was saying, Arsenal were super clinical. And a mistake for my goalkeeper, not sure why I brought him out that much. And then... Not a simple finish for Welbeck, but it was doable. And Welbeck picking up two goals for Arsenal and Dzeko picking up at fifth. Um, we didn't have many good chances, but the ones we did have, we did make good use of them. Getting two goals out of our decent chances. Um, but it, ma it didn't matter because in the end, we lost by three goals, 5-2 to Arsenal. It's kind of a shame. Because as you see from the stats, it was a really even match. We both the same amount of shots on target. Arsenal only only having two more shots on target, or sorry, two more shots altogether. So it was really frustrating and um, kind of disappointing to lose that match. In all fairness, we do get an offer from Wales to uh, join them. I think this actually happened in my last episode. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but that's because um, my game didn't save properly, or sorry, my Xbox froze. And then I'd go back and sim the two matches in my last episode. Um, that's why, in case you're wondering, because uh, I've received that twice now. Um, so just in case you're wondering. Uh, but we did just make some changes before this Crystal Palace match. Now, Crystal Palace really aren't doing that well in the league now. I think they're actually in the relegation zone. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but this match didn't have a lot of good chances, to be honest. And... Uh, we tried to do our best to score goals and Vargas picking up a really nice goal finesse outside the box in the 35th minute um, Besides those two chances It was a really boring game Apparently we had no shots on target, which I really don't understand because we had three shots even though I didn't show all three um, So they clear like the game just didn't register that third shot So it was should have been three to one, but but Lassie causing a lot of trouble in this match. And unfortunately they do score a header. Moving on anyway into the 57th minute. But Lassie again with another goal guys. He was such a pain in the arse honestly. Because he's so strong and he's fast. And he's really good at heading. And he's clinical. He's clinical. Um, but a really nice goal. Jesus. Um, from Kebe uh, off the cross burn in. We do. We want a nice little skill run here. It's really hard to do skills um, for me anyway against legendaries. Um, but Muriel going all by himself and scoring, bringing the match to a one goal difference. Uh, but that didn't matter because Yednak put a really good shot outside the box, scoring. And Campbell coming in the 79th minute, lays the ball off to Ledley, who takes a shot. And if it wasn't for my defender in the line, that shot probably would have gone in. Uh, but anyway, we do want we do a nice few solo runs with Bar with, sorry Muriel already and Vargas right here, and Vargas scoring a really nice goal. Vargas actually starting to show up a small bit. I mean, Austin's doing really well, but I'm I'm starting to like Vargas honestly. Muriel did horrible at the start when I bought him, but he's starting to find his game. But unfortunately, we did lose the match. Um, uh, three, four three. Pretty interesting match, uh, but yeah, again, it's another loss, and we should have at least got out of that match, even though um, 
it wasn't even matched. That's why, sorry, that's why, that's why it should have been. But, guys, uh, I'm going to try to get Chikawi. Um, because I think we tried already at the start and we couldn't buy him. So, really annoyed with that. And we also tried picking up Michael Arroyo from uh, America, who we couldn't buy um, at the start because uh, he literally, he just moved to America, so we couldn't buy him. I think we tried loaning him as well, but the, the America weren't interested, so we couldn't. But now that we hit the January transfer list, I wanted to try to get Arroyo and uh, Chikawi. But anyway, Hoylet really wanted to play that match, although I wasn't sure he should, considering he was still injured, but I decided, you know, to give him a chance, see what he could do. Um, a, an awkward save from our goalkeeper, but nevertheless a save and keeps us in the match. And Britain with a screamer off the crossbar and in. Our opponent so far, Crystal Palace and Swansea, have scored two goals off the crossbar. I mean, pretty nice goals as well. Um, again, Muriel being a, a threat, but uh, couldn't finish off his chances. And then coming in the 27th minute... Lennon, or sorry, Dyer, sorry, doing some nice work and scores. Really nice goal. And then coming in the 30th minute, only three minutes later on, McCarthy making a save that absolutely saves our team from going 3 0 down already in the first half. Um, but unfortunately, we were only 2 0 down. We only had one shot in the half. Swansea having seven and four on target. It, really, it was a really poor half. The Muriel going on a nice little soil run, losing the ball. Two or three times, getting the ball back, loses it. I'm oh, sorry, didn't lose it, but loses it there. Gets it back for the third time, still going. Gives it to Crancho, who squares the ball, and much cannot get on to the end of that. But then moving on into the 66th minute, it is Sigerson with the shot. Oh, so close. And then Sigerson again is a threat with a nice ball from Shelby, and they're really scoring again. Uh, Sigerson. It's been very unhappy not to score that. A really weak enough attempt from Vargas. Didn't really trouble the goalkeeper. Just forced the corner. Uh, Muriel going for a shot here. And much. And it was a, a horrible, horrible rebound. But anyway, guys, that is the end of the gameplay. But for the last four minutes of this episode, well, three and a half, four minutes, um, I'm be showing you the guys, uh, the players I'm going to try to buy. And... Um, yeah, so I'm really sorry that... Well, actually, the gameplay was seven minutes long, which is, you know, it's decent. Um, it's just... I want I didn't I didn't want to spend too much time on the gameplay because I, I had to put this in as well. So, um... And I decided to show all of it, actually. I just sped it up by two or four. So, I didn't want to keep it at one or else this episode will go to about 15 or 19 minutes. So, I, I didn't want that at all. Uh, but anyway, we do... We do our best to try and get you, how we... Um, Fortunately, uh, I would have to put up Austin or or Tarapt or an expensive player for Chikawi. Um, but Chikawi is a really good player, so I was really interested in getting him. I was also kind of interested in getting Cedric, um, getting a spare right back because QPR only have one left back and one right back, so I was kind of interested to get a spare one. And I was also interested to buy Kelvin as a young star, really good. Plus also the fact that he's a 5 star skiller. Now all the players you're going to be seeing here, are, most of them are 5 star skillers. Um, if not all of them. And Shifty is an R player from Dundee United. And there's also an R player, um, Mackay Stevens I think. Stephen Mackay. Um, or Stevens anyway. He also plays for Dundee. Even though I wasn't going to buy him, I'm just telling you guys he's an R 5 star skiller. Um... And yeah, but they're both silver, but I was only going for them really because they're five star skillers. And if I was buying uh, Shifty, he'd more or less kind of be my spare or reserve striker just in case a lot of, a lot of players are injured. Because, um, yeah, just in preparation really if that ever does happen. Um, but nonetheless, he is a five star skiller, so I would be using him from now to again if we do get him. Um, but I wasn't. I don't. I didn't really think of much of Shifty as a starter. Really, I didn't see him as that. Although I am editing the team here, uh, I don't think I, I don't actually play a match, so don't worry about that. Um, but anyway, or sorry, I sim it. Sorry, I'm sorry for simming it, but it was a club. It was a cup. Sorry, it was a cup match. So, um, and it wasn't against really good teams. So I decided just, just and plus you know just to narrow down the gameplay and this, I just didn't want to make it too long. Um, but yeah guys, I also want to ask you about my second channel, um, 
do you want me to make one because if you do you got you guys have to just let me know in the comments below um if you do uh, that that's the only indication i can know um uh that's the only indication I can know if you guys really want one, or you can message me on Xbox Live, your choice. Um, but you like, you, guys, I just really need to know because uh, if you do, um, I will. It's just you know, there's obviously gonna be a few setbacks. I think I've already explained this, but you know, my upload schedule on this channel will be a bit more delayed because I will be working on my other channel. And guys, if I do start a second channel, let me know. What you want me to do on it maybe real life stuff even though i'm not really into showing my face yet i don't think I pro if i if i do continue to do youtube for a few more years um i'll probably do it maybe when i'm out of secondary school i'm not sure uh i'm not actually really sure when i'd actually start showing my face but it'll probably not be anytime soon anyway guys uh, if you did enjoy the video be sure to hit that like button below subscribe if you haven't and guys i will see you in my next video see you